Traditional cancer research has been based upon anatomy, based upon where that cancer started. The concept of the TAPER trial is to ignore where a tumor started and in fact, to look specifically at the abnormalities that might be driving an individual cancer forward, match it with a drug that has been suggested to favorably impact that target, give the drug to that patient, and see if there's clinical benefit. The TAPER study is a prospective, large, sort of what we would now call a basket trial. Um, the, it began as an idea to do an observational study, a registry study, to just observe how oncologists were implementing precision medicine in clinical oncology practice. But as we developed the idea, it seemed like it would actually be more feasible and more informative to actually do something that resembles more of a phase two clinical trial with multiple treatment arms. I am really excited about this trial. The reason is that I think it offers so many more options for patients than we ever had before. Patients with advanced cancer who may have had other therapies, and some patients with hematologic malignancies such as multiple myeloma or B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, might be eligible for such a trial. We'll be able to be more precise in our treatment, not only be more effective, but also to avoid therapies that are quite frankly harmful, that will not help. You might have a patient with breast cancer who has a cancer that has spread to the liver. You do a molecular test and find that it has an abnormality that in fact might, might benefit from a drug that has been approved for colon cancer. And if that particular drug is part of the trial, that is known to target, at least suspected to target that abnormality, that patient may get that drug. And the goal then is to find out if that drug has a favorable impact on that target for the benefit of the patient, regardless of what that drug is in approval. We have been very fortunate to have pharmaceutical companies donate marketed drugs to the TAPER study. The so drugs are provided free of charge, uh, and you know, if the patient is eligible and, and consents to participate in the study, they're guaranteed that they'll be able to get the drug. There's about 17 drugs within the TAPER trial that can be targeted for the particular patient. We do not know if a particular drug will be active against a particular molecular abnormality. That's what we're trying to learn. There's a tremendous amount of information that could potentially inform the whole oncology community that it, you know, is never provided to them because it's never captured or reported in any way. The TAPER trial is a new step along that paradigm, a very powerful one because it, it allows us to look at multiple drugs focused on that individual abnormality. Again, all for the benefit of that individual patient. That is why this is done. It's a very exciting time for patients to have some of these new, really revolutionary changes in precision medicine and personalized medicine for patients all around the world. This is the future of oncology, simply stated.